Hi, I'm Will Fly, and I'm going to show you how to play the original classical version of Davy Graham's Angie, which was written and recorded in 1961. I'm going to use a mixture of tab diagrams, fretboard diagrams and live recording. In the original recording, Davy put a capo onto the third fret, but for simplicity I'm going to show you how to play it for the moment with no capo in the key of A minor. In the fret diagrams, a green circle shows an open, unfretted string. Blue circles show a fretted string. The letter T shows that the note has got to be picked with the thumb. The numbers 1, 2 and 3 show that the notes have got to be picked with the first, second and third fingers. Angie is made up of three separate themes, which I'm going to call Theme A, Theme B and Theme C. So let's start with the tab for Theme A. I'm going to slow theme A down now and show you how it looks on the fretboard. And you play this particular section four times to complete theme A. Here's what theme A looks like live. That was the tab for theme B. Here's what theme B looks like on the actual fretboard, and you play this section twice to complete theme B. And now here's theme B live. That was the tab for theme C. The next section shows the first part of theme C on the fretboard, and you play this three times before going on to the following section. Here's the second part of theme C. And you play this once to complete the whole of theme C.
Here's DMC played live. The next section shows all three themes played live slowly. And now to complete the whole video, his Angie played properly with the capo on the third fret and at the right speed. Well, I hope you found that useful. You can pick up the tab at my website, www.mjra.net forward slash willfly forward slash. Enjoy.